Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to get around failed virus detected on Windows 10 or 11. Before we do, I'm assuming you're trying to download something and you know it's okay and you want it. If you need more information, expand the video description and look for all the information here about false positives, if it has a virus or malware. But what you need to know is the problem going on here with this error message is, let me show you it, it's very common if you're downloading something networking related, BIOS related, something that might change your system settings that Windows doesn't think should be changed. And of course, Windows doesn't know what it is. This is a good example here. I'm testing this for major geeks for inclusion. And obviously Windows Defender does not know what it is. And that's what we're getting to Microsoft and Windows Defender. So there's a virus detected. There's nothing in my download folder to match that file. So it's gone. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come over here and click on your Windows security icon right down here in your bottom right corner. If you don't have it, maybe you're using a different antivirus, then you should be able to do the Windows key plus S. Type in security and click on Windows security right here. That will bring you to this. Now you might be seeing, depending on the size of your window, little icons here. I'm going to expand it so you can see what we're doing. We're going to click on virus and threat protection here. And a little shield or over here bring it down just a little bit to virus and threat protection settings and go ahead and click on manage settings and uncheck real-time protection click yes for user account control and as you can see you've got the warning off is white blue is on just ignore this stuff for right now let's come back over let's download the file and let's check our files there it is now I've got it so, if that didn't work, you can try and disable cloud deliver protection as well. However, the majority of times, just this single setting works. And here's the beauty of it. Now you've got the file. Turn this back on. Close Security Center out. And you've got the file and you're good to go. And it only takes a couple seconds to do that. It is a bit of a pain, but in the end, at the end of the day, Windows is just trying to protect you. So there you have it. That is how you can deal with a failed virus detected. Sometimes I got to look up my own tutorial. I forget this all the time. So that'll uh, get the job done for you. You know the drill at the bottom right hand corner. You can hit subscribe. Give us a like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.